presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robin, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner, and primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, October 25th. Let's kick it in, baby. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best to me, take action on your ideas. I mean, you can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 70, NASDAQ up 150, S&P's up 23, gold contract up $12.80, trading at 1809 an ounce. We got silver up 20 cents, $24.65 an ounce, light sweet crude, flat. $83.53 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10 year up seven ticks trading 130.18. The 30 year up eight ticks at 158.17 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 177 ticks trading out at 93.818. Euro is at 116. The yen is at 113.69. The British pound is at 137 to one US dollar. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazda from Direction. Dave is the head of product folks and the managing director at Direction Shares. Uh, as you're at our website at TFNN, you see the Direction banner right there. You just hit that banner and there is so much action out here today. Dave Mazda, how you doing? Doing well. Thanks for having me back. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> There's, you know, when we look at your product line, uh, today, you know, it's always nice, but today uh, we got a little field day happening. I feel, you know, it doesn't matter, folks, okay, you know, on both sides, whether we're starting talking banks, whether we're talking interest rate structures, whether we're talking commodities. And then we have Tesla hits a thousand bucks. That took the NDX up like beyond belief. So it's pretty cool, you know, when, when we start looking at basically where you want to get yourself positioned, you know. Let's, why don't we start with the banks, okay? Because, I mean, the bottom line is that, you know, I understand, on a short-term basis, I think the, the, the bonds are going to come up a little. But I, I think, you know, when we start talking a year, year and a half, I mean, the bottom line is that interest rates are going to have to go up at some particular point, and that's when, the, you know, the, the FAS uh, really comes into play. Yeah, exactly. And look, we had um, a, a pretty stellar earnings uh, from the banks that reported uh, in the last weeks or so, and it's brought up a lot of activity back into the financial space. What I found interesting is if you look at some technical indicators, RSIs, things of that nature, um, we know the momentum was behind the financials index and really FAS, actually, people were positioning for it. Um, and uh, I thought we could have seen a reversal, um, but because we said such strong beats, it's only confirmed that we're in an environment that's going to be a bit better than we saw for banks going forward. And that's really helped the entirety of the complex. You know, whether you look at uh, everything from your money center banks like a Bank of America to American Express, pretty broad based strength, um, you know, again, reflective of the environment that we find ourselves in. No, no doubt. Now, we got to switch gears here for, because the bottom line is that we finally had gold come off the lows. And, you know, of course, we got a, a couple. You got the nugget. You got the J nug. Um, you know, and when these things start moving, uh, there, there's no doubt that uh, they, can, they can really take off. And, you know, what, what happens here, folks, whether you're a bull or a bear, I mean, the bottom line is that you have volatility out here, so it gets really intriguing. And, you know, the last couple of weeks, we've been on a one-way trade on the way up. Uh, but these also are great leverage plays 
particularly because we know that when gold goes, when it goes down, it just doesn't stop. <laughs> and when it goes up, it kind of goes the same way. It gets frustrating, but the reality is that uh, when you catch it, it's not bad. Yeah, well, I think a lot of people were, you know, more from the investment side, were confused. Hey, why is gold not doing better? We know inflation is picking up uh, under a multitude of metrics. Look at the CPI, PCE, expectations. And it's been sort of cryptos, you know, uh, kind of taking the charge on the inflation head side. But gold has maybe found a bottom here. I think the gold mining stocks, as you know, particularly for, for traders, yes. um, with your nuggets and your dust, uh, for example, you got to play. You got you got to take advantage of both sides of the trade here because uh, this is a, you know an environment where I don't think it's going to be to your point. When it can really move, it can really move, but it's still unclear. Like where is gold going to go? What's happening with the dollar? There's this push pull that um, uh, is driven by the macro environment. But for traders, you know, just because we haven't seen that much activity out of gold miner stocks, let's not forget about those particular leverage ETFs. Again, if you want to take advantage of some of those potential short-term moves. No doubt. And, you know, you brought up a great point, Dave, okay? I, Because I really think that all of us out here that trade gold in particular have been scratching our head for a long period of time. Because, you know, the, the, the key is, is that, yeah, you can, yeah, people are making the case that, hey, listen, you get Bitcoin at 62000 I knew people coming on, they're only buying Bitcoin and replacing it. I, none of us know, I guess. That's, that's the bottom line. And that, that is what is making... Uh, this gold move, uh, you know, some days it's good and some days it's like, okay, man, watch out. And that's why you do want to be on, on two sides of it. No doubt about that. Now, let's talk the bond market because the bottom line, uh, you know, this gets really interesting. We came down to the, the bottom of, of the uh, consolidation. And then, you know, you have product for that, too. And, the, and then the, the product, they're all great products. But, but I, I love when you're at either the bottom or top of con consolidation because what happens, folks, is that, like, particularly in the bond market right now, everyone's on one side. So it's like, okay, well, maybe we'll get a little bounce out of here. Yeah, and actually, we're seeing that with the volume pickup in, in TMF and uh, TMV, which could provide exposure to um, to longer dated, uh, longer dated treasuries again yes. on the leverage side and, and the inverse side. And what's I think interesting here is that we, you know, we're we're in a space where uh, it might be difficult to contain rates in the short term. What I mean by that is there seems to be momentum here, you know, breaking through your one six, probably maybe testing one seven five even two. From there, again, I think it's a little less clear of, of where rates can go. But again, for traders. Um, let, the opportunity is to take advantage both of where the momentum is moving in the short term and then maybe playing that that, that kind of counter trade as, you know, uh, rates, you know, maybe uh, pension funds step in and say, wow, uh, 2% actually is pretty attractive to me compared to the 1% that, that, that I was getting, even that's crazy as that might sound. But it opens up the opportunity for someone who is going to be paying attention to bond market and then take advantage of these tools that really totally amplify the duration exposure uh, in, 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 a, in a portfolio, both on the head side and, and on the upside. Yeah, there's no doubt. Nice action. Well, listen, you have a great one, safe one. We appreciate the education, Dave, and look forward to having you back two weeks from today. Thank you. Talk Thank soon. you. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 62. NASDAQ is up 146. S&Ps are up 22. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. right now trading up 56 you get the nasdaq up 152 s p's are up 22. let's go to jose in orlando jose what's going on brother lakeland we want lakeland what's going on man hey there tom uh am i on you're on brother tom i gotta make this quick my um uh, my question quick my um doctor called me uh yesterday and said uh jose i've got bad news and worse news I said, well, what's the bad news? He said, you only got 24 hours to live. I said, what's the worst news? He said, I forgot to call you yesterday, so I got to make it quick. <laughs> oh, my God. That's heavy, man. <laughs> Tom, Cadence Design, I hate giving out praise, but you made some decent calls in the month of September. Nike filling the gap at 150, Apple at 137. So Cadence Design, CDNS, comes out with earnings today. Is this the big move to 180? Oh, look at this. I see. Interesting. Okay, so okay, so we're up 66 cents. Last high was 168.61. That's good. It's taking it out with volume. So let's see here, man. Let's pull this up, put it back. All-time highs, man. But let's push them with volume. Made yeah. a high today. Yeah, I mean, I like how this pushed with volume. You know, last week, so here, watch this, folks, okay? So on a weekly basis, the last high had 3.4 million shares. That's the 168.61. Last week, we had 5.1. I always like that, Jose, when that's happening, man. So I'd say the higher is coming at us. Let's see. This is always scary when they're coming out with numbers, man. <laughs> yeah, and that's, correct. That's, oh, hold it. Is that, that's weird. Hold one second. The 25th. Oh, they already come out with numbers. Well, oh, they, they came out with the numbers today? This morning. One second. Hold on. Oh, because they're having a conference call at 5 p.m. I thought they were going to go over the numbers after the Maybe. close. Maybe. Hey, this is, this is even better for you, though, because this is... One second. Hold on. You know, it's Look. funny. It's... A, it's yeah. Well, maybe well, it's, I Fidelity have Investment says, is the only one buying this. They've got uh, they're up ten percent on ownership. BlackRock and Vanguard they've all dumped these shares. Why is Fidelity the only one in here on this? Yeah, I don't. I, and, and you know what's happening here? It's saying they're supposed to come out before the open, but I don't see it. So maybe it is coming out afterwards, man. Um, yeah. You know, I would just stay right where you are, man. I mean, it looks to me like, you know, you're going to get some action here. So, and I just pulled up the, okay, so BlackRock, 9th, September 30th. They just sold 1.4 million. 
Mass finance. Yeah, they've all been sellers, it looks like, uh, except Fidelity, according to my screen. But um, uh, who, who knows? Fidel uh, Fidelity is buying it. They're up 10%. Uh, they, they own 10% of it, I guess. Yeah. And listen, the business they're in, man, they should be doing good because the business they're in is a great business. I mean, you know, they have yeah. a great piece of software and, you know, the you know, design business in general is doing great. So, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah. Tom, when are you going to throw in the towel on gold? Throw the towel in. <laughs> I love Toss it. it now. I love it. I love it. Hey, man, these, these equities, you know, yeah, granted they got killed, but the last three weeks, man, it's been a field day on the way up. So. Yeah, 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 I've noticed that. But, okay, uh, man, you have a great one and a safe one. Okay, thanks. Now let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, uh, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Do I have uh, you know when Sports weekend. We had a washout down here in South Florida. I think you guys had some pretty decent weather, though. Yeah, we did. It didn't. It didn't. It, in St. Pete, it it only rained a little. I know. It's it's pretty wild. Yeah. And and a good football game yesterday. So, oh my uh, God. Yeah, life that's is something good. else, man. But they did. Uh, uh, Buccaneers held them to three points. The Bears yeah. yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> and that's you, a good. You know, it's so cool, man. They just have an all-around great team. I mean, oh, it's just do. not. It's just you know, Brady. Yeah, puts it together. But I mean, but they get they, their defense. The the you know the backs. Oh my God, the you know the the, the ends. I mean, they they have it. Period, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, while, while sitting at the Miami Dolphins game yesterday, watching another loss, uh, my my buddies now we just looked at each other and said, "Why did we get Brady?" Seriously, man. It I, I, I find it hard to believe that we even got him. It was like, this is like heaven on earth, man. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. So in the markets, uh, you know, the markets have been trading within a sideways consolidation for months. That's represented on our screen here by those white rectangles. And the cool thing, folks, about consolidation patterns is they provide us with measured move price objectives, either to the upside or to the downside. So that's what's pictured on uh, this slide here that we're taking a look at. And both the ES, that's the S&P 500, and the YM, the Dow, are signaling consolidation breakouts, meaning that price may target for the S&P or the ES Mini, 48.16 and 37.399 for the uh, uh, Dow. That would be their measured move. And, and when you do get measured move or when you get consolidation breakouts, folks, it, the, the pattern or the price objective is the measured move. It's equal to or greater than. So it can be above these numbers. Now, these breakouts are lining up with our favorable seasonal cycle. So okay. this is a one-year seasonal cycle. Typically, we get a bottom in the middle of October. In the case of the Dow, that bottom formed on October 5th when there was a bull sash candle that confirmed a Rhodes momentum indicator signal out here. So everything lining up with a seasonal bottom. However, the Dow equity future contract is likely going to form a TD9 count top by Wednesday. So today is bar number eight. We've uh, th This chart here was snapshotted uh, a couple of hours ago. We've exceeded that high, I believe. And uh, so that generates bar number eight. So that says we should see some type of short term top between uh, today and uh, Wednesday. That means that there's a pit stop that is likely in place. And that pit stop should take price right down to when this uh this this little green and red line I refer to as the oscillator and change line. Okay. And the cool thing about this tool, Tom, is that when the line changes colors, went from red to green about five, six, seven days ago, we typically see price and that line catch up to each other. Now Ideally, you get some type of topping signal. That's where the TD9 count pattern comes into play. So approximately, if we get that pattern, we're looking at the Dow Equity Future contract pulling back to about the 35098 level. And uh, uh, if, uh, if that doesn't hold, you've got a brand new daily profile that's attempting to form in the Dow. Now, I won't have confirmation of this until this evening, but if this pattern does hold, this would say an additional support level would be the bottom of that profile. And that's at the 34946 level. Now, the ES mini chart looks very similar to the Dow. It's going to form a TD9 count top. We see that it's oscillator and change line, changed colors. It's where my cursor is at. And so that suggests that we should see, once the top forms, we should see price pull back and test that level. And again, we expect that top to form by Wednesday. And uh, if uh, and that current oscillator and change line is about 44.74, so that would be one downside target. The next downside target would be about 44.92 to 45.12. This is a bullish structure daily profile that the ES is trying to form. Again, I won't have confirmation until this evening, but if folks listen to the show tomorrow at one o'clock, we'll have confirmation. I'll be able to share those profiles with them. So. 
should these tops form, we would expect price would pull back. And all of a sudden, that will take the ES Mini and the Dow back inside their consolidation pattern. So was it a real breakout? Was it a false breakout? And therefore, we, for that first clue, if price pulls back, test that green line and rejects it, Tom, that would be a bullish signal and be an indication that we should break out of these consolidation patterns. Wow, wild man. And yeah. listen, folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see Mastering Probability right in featured content. You can get it for a month, six months, a year. They all come, folks, with a 30 day money back guarantee. Check it out. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the market for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 62. The Nasdaq's up 148. S&Ps are up 22. Let's go take a look at that oil market, folks. Bottom line is that oil out here today hit $85.41. You're down $540 thousand contracts inside the oil market which is a big number that's the bottom line now what you did out here is this okay so um you know this has been a one-way move folks you look back three months ago we we're at 61 dollars we're at 83.55 right now and you have volume behind the move um so there's a couple questions in here is that number one do i think it's the high no i don't i mean I, it, when you when you take this one yeah watch this when we do the con when you do the Continuous contract, and we bring this in, it looks to me, I think it's $107 this thing wants to go to. I got to bring it back further. I got to bring it back five years. 
Yeah, you already broke over. I'm going to put it on a monthly. That's, this is how far that oil market's actually gone, folks. Okay, so on a monthly, what we have, you broke top side. As soon as you broke the, yeah, as soon as you broke the 76, yeah. I mean, my, my take is oil's going from 101 to 107 or something. That, that's how this baby's set up. So, yeah, can you pull back a bit? Yeah, but I, I don't see 79 in the cards here. I see... I see higher prices in, in oil. Now that, and that's folks with the dollar at almost all time highs, which is, you know, this dollar, if this dollar, it, it's been wavering back and forth on its benchmark. That the benchmark on the dollar, and the benchmark I'm talking about was the last swing high, which is the 93,729. Um, you know, we're 100 and, uh, ticks over that right now. And, you know, we've been over it before, under it before the last uh, week, week and a half. So, and it, when oil's that powerful and the dollar's at all-time highs, you'll pull back just a little, and that would basically pull back, uh, that would push oil uh, up in a, in a monster way, too. Uh, natural gas, this is pretty wild, man. One of the Tigers was just saying that UNG had a big day out here, and there's no doubt, UNG uh, right now is trading up a buck 95. This is the U.S. Natural Gas Fund. This is the ETF structure, and that is one monster move. But if you take a look at natural gas itself, you know, bottom line is that it's hard to comprehend, but natural gas had a $7,000 move out here today. Uh, you're up 70 cents. Natural gas, for every dollar, folks, it's $10,000, okay? So <laughs> you're talking some real bread out here, man. Uh, and this is a big move. You know, 47,000 contracts. Let me see this. This is November, okay? So this is this November natural gas, and this is after... We had the, you know, you had a full run. Oh, interesting. Now, hold it. Let me see this. NG. This is the active contract. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. So when I'm saying this is interesting, you get the price spread out here today, but what's happening is that you're coming into the last high with a monster contraction. Okay, so this is, okay, so watch this. This is pretty cool, man. So the last high was $6.46. We're at, it hit 608 today. And if you get into uh, this high again, and you still have this contraction, that yeah, I would say that that's, uh, that's gonna be the top of this rally. That's how this is looking, you know? Because the contraction today is a monster. Uh, meaning, you know, we hit those highs with uh, 275,000 contracts, and right now, you're only doing 47,000. So. Well, we'll see where it does shake out, but that's a big one right now. Now, inside the NDX 100, the NDX 100 has been moving around in a monster way, folks. What we've had is that Tesla right now is up 12.5%. It's at 10.23. What that did, that moved off the, um, the high. Not much, though, 20 bucks. Moderna is up 6.5%. That actually moved up higher. That's trading at all-time highs, right? Not all-time highs for the day. Peloton is up 3%. And then PayPal... Uh, got back somewhat, uh, it got back $8. Uh, they came out and said that they're not interested in the Pinterest deal. Uh, you got a nice little pop in it. Now that's taking the NDX 100 higher. Uh, taking it lower out here today is that you have uh, Trip.com is down 4%, Fox is off 1.7, and Baidu is off 1.1. So no real big movement uh, on the way down inside that NDX 100. That being said, guess what, folks? Right after the close, and Facebook loves coming out, just like Google, right after the close. They're coming out with numbers today. The low is $2.44, uh, $2, the high is $3.84. We're trading uh, about $60 off of that high. We're trading at $328 right now. They are going to be looking to take in the, to their top line. They're going to be looking to take in $29.5 billion and make $3.17. Um, they, you know, they've been under a lot of heat. There's no doubt about that. Fundamentally, um, there's, there's a lot of uh, heat on them. And the way that this is set up it looks to me like 304 is going to be hit here uh, so this is going to and where i'm going with the 304 folks is this 304 is the high from the week of august uh 2020 and you can see that the type of volume that's up there it's a monster it'd be really hard to break that down the first time and 
I suspect what we're going to have. Now, this is what's going to be. I, I always love it when these things come out because watch this. And this is where, you know, this thing could jump the creek. You see, you see that line there? That's the, that's the 200 day moving average. So it saved itself two weeks ago at the 200 day moving average. It saved itself today at the 200 day moving average. Now, the real question is, is it going to save itself when it comes out with numbers? I suspect what we're going to see is this. I expect the numbers to be great. What I also expect, though, inside of that, because of the fact that you had the, the whistleblower documents or out, the Wall Street Journal basically got all those out here today, right? They've been out for the last couple of weeks, but they had some real juicy ones today. The, the juicy ones today had to do with the fact that Facebook knows that, number one, they're basically destroying, you know, young kids, old kids, that, the, the whole ball of wax. But that's not what's going to hurt them. What's going to hurt them is the as aspect that they can't get teenagers. The teenagers are going down. So when Facebook first started, right, picture this, folks. Whether you're a teenager, 20, 30, 40, 50, the bottom line, people are getting on Facebook, right? But if you're not getting on Facebook now, let's say from 16 to 2021, 20, you're not going to go get on Facebook when you're 25 or 30. And that is the number that inside those documents that come out that they're concerned about that. They should be concerned about that. You know, so they could come out with great numbers, but I suspect that the disclosure is going to be in there. The reason the disclosure will be in there, it makes more sense that they'll be in even though the papers came out, and that's material. If, so a public company, folks, if a public company knows that, that's a material aspect. And if that's a material aspect, they're supposed to come out with it and put it inside um, a filing. So we'll see where that baby shakes out, but I suspect that's where it's going to go. And most of the time, what does end up happening is that Facebook comes out with their numbers, I mean ASAP. So that will move the N NQs at 4 o'clock. You know, I suspect they'll come out, uh, I don't know, 401, 402. That's how, that's how it normally happens out here. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 58. You get the NASDAQ up 141. S&Ps are up 22. Uh, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up, uh, let's see, 64. We get the NASDAQ up 141. S&Ps are up 22. Uh, guest today, folks, is Copley Gerdes. Uh, Copley is a candidate for the city council uh, running in District 1. Uh, Copley is focusing on affordable housing, infrastructure to meet the growing population of the city, water management, environment, reducing uh, floods inside of the neighborhoods. And Copley comes from... Uh, long family history of uh, basically building up St. Petersburg, Florida. There's no doubt about that. Copley, welcome to TFNN. Oh, thank you for having me. Excited to be here. Spend some time with you. Uh, there is no doubt, man. And, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, there's no prejudice here, but I can tell you, folks, okay, his family has done a lot of work here. Um, they have. They have. I mean, I, I, I don't know your father. I know Rob, okay, and I, I met him a long time ago, and this is so what has happened with st petersburg folks just so you know okay there's people like uh his uncle and his father okay that have worked for a long period of time to bring st petersburg to the level they're at right now and uh, you know I, I saw this happen in boston and it does take 30 years okay but we're here now you're running for city council so tell the folks why they should vote for you no, I appreciate it. And uh, frankly, you made me tear up a little bit just thinking about my dad and my uncle and frankly, all of my family that's, um, you know, it's poured, poured their heart out to a city they love, you know, all the way going back to uh, my grandfather and being one of the founding members of uh, Zillia Little League. Is that um, right? And, that is yeah, so cool, and, man, because I'm telling you, you know, and, and again, folks, okay, I... I I know what the difference is because I grew up in Boston. I've been in St. Pete for 25 years, and I know how much it takes. But they have done an amazing job, and and I am so happy that they finally got to see it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I listen. I've been super blessed to have family on both sides. You know, I I, I grew up with all of them around me uh, that just uh, have a care and a passion for. Uh, their neighbor and treating them like family and this was an opportunity to do that citywide and that's really why I got excited to do it you know I feel like uh, over the last uh, couple of years there has just been this uh, divisiveness that somehow has gotten into our culture a little bit here in St. Pete where um, I think we can all agree that we live in an amazing place and and it's and it's grown up in front of our eyes you know yes. I, if you if you came from boston my college roommate was from braintree just outside of boston right. and and so i've been up there quite a bit and so you know that didn't happen overnight and and we've been able to be a part of this generation that's been able to watch st pete grow up and and don't get me wrong there's a long history and long uh some really great things of st pete history and then there's some things that uh, you wish you could go back and shake the head at, uh, of, of some of the people that made the decisions. But we're here now, and we're in such a good place. And really, it was just the opportunity for me to say, listen, I love this place. I want my four-year-old daughter and my two-year-old son to yeah. live here and raise their family one day. And we should really just can try to continue to grow smart because of this little big town feel we have, this this small business entrepreneurial a shell that we we've grown and I, I want to keep it that way and this was the opportunity to do that and I just think 
uh, because of, you know, being able to learn from my family members before me, my financial background as a financial advisor, my capacity to be able to serve because of being a small business owner, um, and, and the knowledge that I've been able to gain of our city and how it works. I, it was just time. And yeah. uh, I'm super excited to go to work for a city that I tell people all the time I owe a lot more to than I've been able to give back so far. And this was just an opportunity to try to catch up on some of that equity. Well, the cool thing is that you were learning right at the you know, supper table or breakfast table. So yeah. there, there's, no, there's no doubt about that. Okay, so let's get down to it, right? Let's get down. I mean, I know everyone is talking about affordable housing and and listen we need it there's no doubt about that but i got to talk to you first because your, your uncle's in charge of all the neighborhoods right yep. he's done an amazing job everyone's trying to do the best they can like okay w the real question is though um you know we get a lot of young kids that are acting up <laughs> in general um and so let's start there let's start safety inside st pete what are we going to do yeah. about it First and foremost, uh, let me just let me just say, uh, we're going to continue to support our police officers, and they're going to be the number one item on the budget every year. Um, we're going to continue to invest in them to make sure that we continue. Now, I don't know if you know this, but you know we have the only police force in the Tampa Bay area that matches the diversity of our city. Right. No, I, I, listen, of, it, it's, we got a great force. There's no doubt. Yeah. yeah. Right. And it's because of that intentionality of making them a priority that we're able to continue to do that. So first and foremost, we've got to continue to support our offers, officers, continue to recruit and develop our officers better than anybody else. This, this, that's not going to change. Right. After that, I think to get to the root of the problem while supporting our, our best in class police officers, we need to, and I think this is where one of, the, one of the ways that I can go to work on day one, because of knowing how to work with budgets and things like that, find dollars outside of our police budget to make sure that we're investing in our youth, we're continuing to invest in our rec centers, in our public-private partnerships. Uh, I'm, on the board member, I'm a board member of the Police Athletic League. Uh, that gives kids an opportunity to have positive experiences with police officers, making sure they know they've got opportunities uh, before they go and make a poor decision. And I think that's where we can get to the root of the problem. But first and foremost, we've got to continue to, uh, like I said, invest in our best in class uh, police force, giving them the support. They've got our backs. They've got to know we've got theirs. Uh, but then making sure that we're investing in our kids and our families. And that's an and, it's not an or. You don't have yes. to do one or the other. You can do both, and that's what I want to do. Yes. Now, this is really cool. Talk to me about the aspect of water management, um, flooding. This is happening, you know, in the whole country, of course. So yep. talk to me about your, your ideas about water management, the infrastructure. Yeah, so uh, I don't. I, most people probably don't know this because they're not, uh, you know, trying to dig into the the weeds like I am these days. But you know, just last week, uh, the city council approved the lift station that's going to make sure that our uh, our two biggest plants are connected. So when when and if there is a capacity problem, if God forbid we had a hurricane and we needed capacity, because right now we do not. We've got uh, about a normal day today is about 40 million gallons of of water we've got the capacity for 100, so we're doing a good job. But to make sure That's that we're great. able to service the entire city, we just approved the lift station and the main to go from northwest to southwest, uh, so we continue, we can trade off. Now we can move water from one place or another if Shore Acres is having um, a, high, uh, a moon tide. Uh, we can move that. So we need to continue to on the plan that we've got so far, right? Two billion dollars, two point four billion dollars over the next ten years. Right. Uh, we got to make sure we finish that plan. The second is is we've got to continue to work, uh, you know, on our coastlines, making we're, making sure we're making smart decisions. Uh, but really, you know, and, and it's it's kind of a boring answer. We've just got to make sure that we stick to the plan. We fund the plan to make sure uh, our water resources master plan to make sure that we're catching up for the, frankly, 20, 30, 40 years of, uh, unfortunately, it's neglect um, that this kind of administration in the last five or six years has caught up to, and we got to make sure we're getting there. Now, how old are you? I'm 38 years old. 38. Good. We need some yeah. good young blood. Folks, yeah. it's votegerdes.com, and Gerdes is G-E-R-D-E-S. Copeland, you have a great one, safe one. We appreciate it. We look forward to having you back on again. 
Come on, right back to you anytime. We'd love to do it. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 49. The Nasdaq's up 135. S&Ps are up 20. And you got uh, Larry Summers and Janet Yellen, folks. Uh, they're going at it on Twitter. And, you know, Summers, I think Summers is arrogant anyway. But the bottom line is I think he's totally right on this whole deal. Um, meaning, so listen to this. So the bottom line, Yellen was on, uh, I think, 60 Minutes yesterday. She was on one of the programs, one of the Sunday programs yesterday. Oh, she was on with Jake Tapper. That's what she was on, uh, on CNN. And she was talking about that, uh, that, he, that Summers was wrong in the aspect of the assertion that uh, there's more risk of losing control of inflation than any time in uh, Janet Yellen's career. Uh, the, the bottom line is that, uh, you know, what has happened with the Fed, folks, okay, is that if you remember, the way this shook down is that the Fed had come out and they expected 2% inflation, but they were also, what they also expected is that we are in October 25th, and when this first started happening, they would tell us that this was going to slow down in this quarter. We're not even close. ExxonMobil, if you want to see ExxonMobil, ExxonMobil is one of the highest paying um, companies in the world for their people and the 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 ceo just turned around and says hey man we're going to give you another raise because they're worried about attrition okay this is already into the system i mean in a monster way folks okay so 
I suspect that they're going to they're fight it out on Twitter. Um, but the bottom line, and I, I suspect what we're going to also see, is that we are not going to see the Fed basically get aggressive. And this inflation, you know, I heard uh, one analyst this morning, Senator, is that, well, okay, you just get one big up and then you go straight for a while. And I think that's what we're doing. But the big jump that we have in prices, I'm talking about 23 to 24 to 30 percent. So it's a monster number. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show. Facebook coming out right after the close. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks.